Okay, so um, welcome to the binding video. We're finally uh, going to be covering how to connect the MIDI device to a uh, widget panel and with the custom parameters that we laid out in the last video. Uh, so uh, this process is really just about um, importing a MIDI device, which in this case is going to be this livid controller here. And if we go into uh, dialogues, MIDI device mapper, and create a new mapping and pick the right device. So in that case, the ohm RGB. Then we can bring in the MIDI in chop. And you'll see when I move the knob here, we'll get a, uh, a MIDI channel. And the MIDI channel name is going to be, in this case, CH11, which means channel 11, controller 18. So this is controller 18 on MIDI channel 11. And what we want to do is we want to connect this channel to drive this knob value between 0 and 1. And the way we do that is we put it, uh, we're going to remap the, um, all the incoming MIDI channels to be between uh, 0 and 127, to be between 0 and 1. And then um, now we use the new bind chop. So if you append a bind chop to that, <coughs> And then um, just export this channel. So open up the, uh, the, the chop viewer, click on the ohm um, widget panel, and then uh, drag the channel over to knob one and export chop. So now when I move the knob, it's uh, connected to the parameter. Now, unlike regular exports, uh, you'll notice when you grab a regular export, you move this parameter and it'll it'll pop it out and it'll go back into constant mode. Um, and that's just the way chop exporting goes because it's not bi-directional. So the bind chop is bi-directional. So if you pop it back into chop export mode and move this parameter, then you'll see I, I can move it here and it, um, it updates the chop. And then as well, if I come back up here and move this, um, the MIDI device, it updates there. So uh, an extra, another feature that's very important to understand is the pickup mode. So you can put it into, uh, you can put the bind chop in a channel pickup. And what that means is if the knob is, um, you know, say, let's say quite low. So you see it's a really low value here, 13. And I'm, if I go to the um, ohm user interface, uh, to the ohm parameter box, and I move this, guy, this value out of, um, far away from this value then if I move this uh, MIDI note just a little, or the MIDI controller just a little bit, it won't actually change the value in the bind chop until it crosses that value. So you notice I'm going up until I hit uh, 0 0.9. And then once I get there, I pick up the value, and now I'm in control of it. And that allows you to connect devices that um, you don't want a discontinuity when you connect the controller. You want it to be nice and smooth. Uh, and so that's what the pickup mode does in the bind chop. So that's, an, that's sort of binding in a nutshell. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to connect the whole device, but I think that's enough for this short little uh, introduction.